Hi, I'm Judy Pine. I'm an education consultant and director of general music here at West Music. And today I'm going to talk to you about quantity versus quality. And I have before you here one of my favorite sonar ORF instruments, the tenor alto Palisano alto xylophone. I was lucky enough to stumble across one of the instruments that is about of the era when I taught school. My guess is this guy is probably 30 years old. And over here is a brand new alto xylophone. Very similar, yet as in typical sonar style, they make improvements that help you as an educator and improve the quality of the work instruments. And I wanna show you about a few of them today. One of them is right here. Back in the day when I bought the ORF instruments, they came with one pair of mallets that I would put, shove in there and keep them or put them in a coffee can. Now, and part of this I think is a little bit of our doing here in the United States, because this is a two octave instrument, C to C, and in a rare pinch when you need to let two students be able to have a turn, sonar now includes two pair of mallets just for that purpose. And they have a handy mallet holder for one set that's always ready to go. And this other set could sit most anywhere ready for action. Something else I always liked about the sonar ORF instruments was just the good look and style. And the fiberglass bars that if I drop this, there's no harm at all to this instrument. In fact, Sonar has a two-year warranty on their top-line fiberglass and rosewood instruments. Let's talk about some of the other things that have improved through the years. When I had this Zalto xylophone, the tubing through the years sort of dried and looked like dead worms. It also affected the sound. Now Sonar comes with a flexible cording that allows the bars to bounce better so they ring and have a better sound. For example, let's see if I can put this guy back together. I was doing this downstairs in my office a little bit earlier and I could feel the low notes, which are the ones you really want to ring kind of missed out a little bit on the sound. But then when I brought them over here to the cording, voila, it really lets that sound sing as we want it to do. The other part that's important about the new sonar ORF instruments, or the revised sonar, is the resonator box. This resonator box from 30 years ago was made of a pressed wood with a veneer on the outside. Oh, and this is kind of funny. This is from Grandview College where I took my ORF levels back in the, uh -huh, a few years ago. When I went to pick this one up, I went, Ugh! and remembered the weight of a bass xylophone with that pressed wood. This one now is an all pine resonator box, lighter resonator box, and it's covered with a special shellac, so it's environmental friendly. And you can clean it with anything as you would any wood. The bars today, actually this old guy, I touched it up a bit, and I, I used a Clorox wipe. I didn't let it sit on it long, but I wiped each bar down and cleaned it all up looks pretty nice today. And after I'm done with this video, I'm then going to replace the tubing. So when I take it back, it's in pristine shape. So in closing, I believe it's always better to go for a quality instrument, whether it's an ORF instrument, a piano, a tabano, a recorder. Quality will last a long time with minimal minimal wear and tear. Give me a call at West Music or any of us here. We're ready to help you 
extend your budget money as far as we can.